Hello everyone. Welcome to my introduction to Microsoft Word 2007. As you might notice if you're familiar with Microsoft Word 2003, this version looks very, very different. During this introduction, I will show you several of the ways that you can get more familiar with this newer layout and also how to best use it and customize it for your own needs. The first thing to notice is that any of the menus from the previous 2003 version have now been replaced with the ribbon. Up above the ribbon, you might notice here, this is called the office button. And notice when I bring my cursor over it, that up pops a quick little preview of what it does. When you bring your cursor over an object like this, it's called a hover or a mouse over. Here you can see many of the commands that you used to find on the file menu. Now, several things that you might notice are here, there are arrows that point. And when you go over or mouse over these arrows, it is pointing in the direction of an additional menu or another pop-up box. Another nice thing is, if you go back up to the top, you'll notice that instead of below, recent documents, are now shown on the right. Another incredibly handy thing that is newer to Microsoft Word 2007 is the Quick Access Toolbar up here in the upper left corner. These are a set of commands that are ones that you tend to use the most. And if you hover over them, it will say what they are. Save, undo, and here is one for print preview. If you would like to add others, well, you can do that. If you hover over this button, it allows you to customize commands that you use most frequently for quick and easy access no matter where you are in the tabs or ribbons of the Microsoft Word 2007 program. For instance, I tend to use Print Preview quite a bit. I have the selected. However, if there are ones here that are not shown that you would like to use, well, you go down here to where it says more commands. With a click, here is where you can customize the quick access toolbar and any type of shortcuts that you like to use more often. I tend to do a lot of inserting graphics into Word. So one thing I would like to do is have insert picture from file added on to my quick access toolbar. Highlight your selection and click add and voila, it shows up now where you would like it to be on your quick access toolbar. You can even rearrange the order of where you would like it to be. When you are all set with what you want, you hit OK. And look at that. Here is now my insert picture from file icon so I can quickly use that no matter where I am. Another thing that's worth noting is that now up here Instead of drop-down menus, you have on Microsoft Office 2007, tabs. This is a reorganization of the same features that you've used in past versions, just in a new layout. For instance, here on the Home tab, here is now your details from Clipboard. Here are your details from Font. And if you notice right down here, there's a little arrow. If you click on this, it launches a pop-up box this might look familiar from previous versions of 2003. Cancel. So whenever you see these little launch buttons, it will mean that there is a pop-up dialog box that you can access. Another nice thing, and one of the handiest features about Word 2007 is it gives you the ability to preview changes before you actually enable them. I would like this wording here to be changed into a title format. If I go up here to style, if I just hover over various options, it is previewing them before I even have a chance to use them. Hmm, I like that one. I'll click on that. Nice. Another thing you can do is in adding pictures, you can easily position them to where in the document you would like them to be. I'm going to go back up to my insert picture from file. I'm going to pick my file out, insert, 
and you can see that here is now my picture details. If I wanted to edit this picture, you'll notice if I go up here, you can't see anything about editing the actual picture. What you need to do is with your cursor, slowly come over until the cursor changes to this crossed set of arrows. If I single left click, that activates what we call the picture handles. More importantly, it also activates this picture tools tab. Now, if I am not clicked on the picture, you'll see that pictures tools tab disappears, activated. From here, I can even go up here to the picture tools position and I would like my picture to be here and there you go. Some options in Word 2007 are not available unless it has been particularly selected. For instance, I would like to cut and copy some text. However, if I'm on the Home tab and I look up here at Clipboard, you'll see Cut and Copy have been grayed out and cannot be selected. For me to be able to cut and copy, what you need to do is highlight your text. As soon as I've highlighted that text, you'll see now I can cut and now I can paste the details that I would like to use. There are many more options that you can use in Microsoft Word 2007. These will be highlighted in continuing videos that will be posted to the site. In the meanwhile, take some time to familiarize yourself with the different tabs and what commands are located on those tabs and how from here forward you can get familiar with Word 2007.